I just loved the, the race. Uh, it's where I started as a as an eight year old, you know, doing the mini marathons. And um, you know, I don't think there's anyone else that's done 22 marathons in a row. Um, so I'm pretty proud to be here for my 22nd marathon in a row. I've been lucky with injuries and stuff like that. Um, I'm just motivated. Uh, I'm probably at the back end of my career at the moment, but I just love doing the marathons at the moment. And um, I think I'm still third in the in the in the rankings. I haven't looked after after Sunday, so um, I'll just keep plodding along until I feel I, I can't do any more. Um, yeah, I was a bit unlucky last year. I changed a lot of things last year. I went I went on to hard gloves, which uh, I haven't done. Um, hard gloves are you know been around for a long time, but it took me a long time to uh, develop the the technique for it. So I had to learn a new technique to push my chair. So. Um, this year, I feel I was a lot stronger on them, um, and I've actually, since the Paralympics, gone back into my old frame, which is a carbon chassis, um, just because I felt I was losing a little bit of um, power through the chair because it was aluminium, and I feel the training has gone well in the last two weeks since I've been back in my back in my old chair. Um, and how many marathons do you think I'm going to do next? I don't want to put a label on it, to be honest. Um, I'm just enjoying, I'm just enjoying traveling and doing the marathons. I'm actually enjoying life at the moment. So um, I'll carry on until I feel I need to, to pack it in. So do we think going back to your old frame might be the difference in those two seconds this year? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. But it's the old course. Um, last year, the, the, the course didn't really suit me because it's completely flat. And Brent <laughs> is, I think, what, 60 kilos. And, you know, I'm, I'm probably nearly double his weight so um he was a, a lot quicker on that on that course and it was the first time that i've beat marcel in a, in a in a few years so it was nice to do that but you know daniel and marcel at the moment are on another level they're from another universe i think at the moment so um it's going to be tough on sunday but you know that's what i'm here i, I like challenges and i got to push myself and i love pushing myself to the limit Yes, uh, it continues. Um, I'll go back for just like two days at um, home and then I'll fly to Boston uh, and then New York will be my last one. So how do you manage training in between a, a busy race schedule? Is it, is it tough and obviously the, the different locations and, and obviously the current protocol in place just from country to country, is that tough and challenging? Yeah, I think it's not really, you cannot really call it training. It's more like recovering and, you know, moving and uh, just being careful to to recover for the next one. And um, yeah, I think the most difficult part is all the traveling and the time differences and the different food. And so you just have to be careful to not do too much and to recover for the next one. And you get good at living out of a suitcase, uh, I would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... Honestly, last weekend was so emotional because I, I mean, I knew that I missed uh, marathon racing, but I didn't know how much I missed it. It was so amazing to be back in those, in this, you know, marathon feeling. The whole city is in the, this marathon mood and uh, I was just so good to be back. And I'm so excited for Sunday to feel that energy again. And um, yeah, it was not easy um, without racing the past two years almost and I had a great year in 2019, so there's always a big of a pressure to come back as strong as I left. And um, yeah, just the Paralympic Games and Berlin last weekend gave me that confidence. And um, yeah, I'm optimistic that I can finish um, as strong as I did uh, in 2019. It's difficult for me. Um, I'd like to have done all of them, but at my age, I don't think I can do all of them in a row. So. You know, London's important to me, so I obviously picked London. And I always said to myself I would go back and do Boston one year because the year I did it, I was a bit disappointed with my performance. Um, and now it's falling in October. It feels better for me to to uh, prepare and at peak at the right point in October. So I'm happy to, uh, to do these two. And then I've got New York in November. Um, which is going to be challenging as well. But I, I sort of, I prefer racing at this time of the year now, as I've got older. I think it's just a bit of a challenge over the winter as you, as you get older. Um